So OpenWebRx is not pre-installed, at least not yet in uh, Dragon OS. Uh, but by the end of this video, we'll get it up and running. And uh, because it doesn't support uh, WFM, uh, only supports NFM, I, uh, I'll see if I can get a one of the local uh, radio clubs uh, up and going on here so we can see some of the audio coming through. Uh, it's a little different than shiny SDR uh, but I think it does it does have some pretty unique uh, features I'll just uh, show you how to get it running here and then we'll take a look at the configuration files all right just like in every other video if you're not already there I change user directory or user source Go ahead and grab the project here and oh another thing to point out is this is a, a fork of I think what was the original OpenWebRx and uh, this uh, developer here is uh, staying pretty pretty on top of uh, updates to this project so this is what I'm going to keep an eye on and I'll put this link in the uh, description. So we'll clone uh, Open WebRx, and then we'll hop over to the manual package installation. Now this should work on Dragon OS 10 and LTS. I'm doing it here in Dragon OS LTS. I'll point out though, and, and not to make this too confusing, but the Dragon OS 10 is a, a Debian Buster build, and it just so happens that the the developer on the site has a Debian Debian Buster uh, package already built, so uh, you could actually uh, come through and install that. Uh, if you wanted to try it and you were still using uh, Debian, the Debian based build, which is Dragon OS 10. So, okay, we'll get some of these prerequisites here. I'm pretty sure everything is already installed, except for maybe I see Netcat there. A lot of this is going to seem repetitive. We're going to grab multiple packages here and their source. And again, I'm in the user source directory. We'll change into that directory, sudo make. We already have Soapy SDR installed. Skip that, I'll come down to open WRX connector. It's an easy way to go up two directories. So we're back in our user source. Now we'll come down through and we will install the optional packages for digital voice. MBLib source. Same as before. Come 
back up two directories, user source. Got two more packages to go. Last one. Okay, we have everything we need to get at least up and running here. I'm going to skip the uh, the next section, the next two sections about additional op uh, optional packages. At this point, we can get this thing up and running and open it on localhost 8073. Uh, just uh, want to point out though the default configuration that this uh, comes with is. Um, shown uh, on the configuration page here there's multiple bookmarks already preset uh, to get up and running quickly here I'm just going to edit what is already in the configuration files and to do that we'll change directory openwebrx have a look around you can see the bands.json books uh, bookmarks.json users.json and then the config uh, webrx.py I'll take a look at that first A lot of settings you can change uh, with your favorite editor, but uh, I'm going to show you at least for this section here the web GUI configuration. We can change that uh, once this is up and running as long as you uh, turn that on and I'll show you where to do that. You can optionally allow your server to be publicly listed. That explains how to do that here. Of course you'd have to port forward. Come down here. I'm just going to come down here to the profile section of the RTL SDR and I want to change my center freak and start frequency uh, to be close to one of the repeaters that are by me here. I'm not going to go through and uh, set up a bunch of bookmarks. I just want to get this up and running. So let's go ahead. We'll change this center freak. It's actually pretty close. And we can see what the, the start modulation is. NFM. And sorry, we'll open that back up. What I want to show you is, uh, let's see, I believe, yeah, here we go, down at the bottom. So web admin enabled. We can set that to true. Save the file. If you have a look at the users.json, you'll see that default password is uh, where the default user and password is admin and password. We'll also take a look at, I'm not going to change uh, the bands file, but I will change one of the bookmarks that are preset here. We'll just go with the first one here.
Okay. With all that set, we will start it up. Again, 8073. Now all those bookmarks you're going to see are defaults that the uh, developer put in there. I'm just going to come down here, left click on the default uh, bands uh, or profiles that were set. And I'm looking for 146. Let me turn up the audio. The call sign locations, uh, that's why I turned the web enabled on. You'll then be able to click settings, log in with admin, password, and you can see you can put in your call sign, the receiver location, uh, map settings, host name, everything you can set right in here. Of course, I don't have the Google API key set. All these just kick on and off the displays. And, and then again, you can set this up to uh, access uh, from anywhere. Uh, or if you chose to share it, uh, other people could come in and uh, change your uh, uh, radio settings.